Welcome to Daily Scripture Reading. I do not own the rights to this music. 1 Chronicles chapter 22. This is the Amplified Version. David prepares for temple building. Then David said, This is how the house of the Lord God, and this is the altar of burnt offering for Israel. So David gave orders to gather the foreigners who were in the land of Israel, and he assigned stone cutters to hew out stones to build the house of God. David prepared large quantities of iron to make nails for the doors of the gates and for the clamps, truss, trusses, and more bronze than could be weighed, and cedar trees beyond number. For the Sidonians and Tyrians brought large quantities of cedar timber to David. David said, Solomon, my son, is young and inexperienced, and the house that is to be built for the Lord shall be exceedingly magnificent, famous, and an object of glory and splendor throughout all lands of the earth. So now I will make preparations for it. Therefore, David made ample preparations before his death. Solomon charged with the task. Then he called for Solomon his son and ordered him to build a house for the Lord, the God of Israel. David said to Solomon, My son, I had intended to build a house for the name, presence of the Lord my God. But the word of the Lord came to me, saying, You have shed much blood and have waged great wars. You shall not build a house for my name, because you have said, shed so much blood on the earth before me. Behold, a son will be born to you, who will be a man of peace. I will give him rest from all his enemies on every side, for his name shall be Solomon, and I will give peace and quiet to Israel in his days. He shall build a house for my name, Presence. He shall be my son, and I will be his father, and I will establish his royal throne over Israel forever. Now, my son, may the Lord be with you so that you may successful, be successful and build the house of the Lord your God, just as he has spoken concerning you. Only may the Lord give your, you wisdom and understanding and give you charge over Israel so that you may keep the law of the Lord your God. Then you will prosper if you are careful to observe and fulfill the statutes and ordinances which the Lord commanded Moses concerning Israel. Be strong and courageous, do not fear, nor be dismayed. Now listen with great trouble. I have prepared and provided for the house of the Lord 100,000 talents of gold, 1 million talents of silver, and bronze, and iron beyond weighing, for they are great in quantity. I have also prepared and provided timber and stone, and you may add to them. Further, you have a workman in abundance. Stone cutters, you have workmen in abundance, stone cutters and stone masons and carpenters and all men who are skillful in every kind of work. As for the gold, the silver, the bronze and the iron, there is no limit. So arise and begin working and may the Lord be with you. David also commanded all the leaders of Israel to help Solomon his son saying, is not the Lord your God with you? And has he not given you rest and peace on every side? For he has given the inhabitants of the land into my hand, and the land is subdued before the Lord and before his people. Now set your heart and your soul to seek, inquire of, require as your vital necessity, the Lord your God. Arise and build the sanctuary of the Lord God, so that you may bring the ark of the covenant of the Lord and the holy articles and utensils of God into the house built for the name, presence of the Lord. The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.